Hello everyone, this is Rock. We're going to do another tutorial today. I know I've been saying that I'm going to do one about like different tips and little things that go together, but I only have six written down so far. I want to get at least to nine before I do it. So I figured I'd do another tutorial, something that I find very useful in this game, and uh, once you have one, it, it's kind of just an easier way to play the game. It makes the game a lot more fun because then you have such a huge amount of resources. And I am talking about this guy right here, this quarry. I'm going to show you how to set one up about this big. I don't know if I'm going to do one this big. I want to do one in this water right here. Uh, I'm going to show you how to do the pipes. I'm going to show you how to power them and all that. So yeah, as you can see, I'm kind of far up. I do want to show you this off. I built this the other day. I think it's kind of cool. It's my new house that I'm living in, in the tutorial, little tutorial world I live in. And so I got a few different floors. It's all powered too. Every floor has electricity. Kind of cool. Um, put it in a path right here. I haven't finished it yet. I ran out of wood. Out of the spruce wood. I've been just making oak lately. But anyway, we'll get right into it. I'm going to show you how to make the landmarks. I'm going to show you how to make pipes. What certain pipes do. Not every pipe. Uh, barrels. And the quarry. And I've shown you how to make certain gears. But I've never shown um, the gold and the diamond. So I'm going to show those as well. Okay, sorry about that. I'm going to make a quick phone call. Um, we're back, and we're going to start with the landmarks. The landmarks are, well, I will make them, and then when we go to build it, I'll show you what they do. They're pretty simple. They're just, uh, you take redstone torches, which is just redstone on top of a stick, and then you put lapis lazuli on top of that. And so they're pretty simple. You need uh, three for a quarry. So we'll make those real quick. So here's three uh, landmarks. You can make four. You can do it with four, but you don't need them, so there's no point. The next thing you're going to need are pipes. These are all the different pipes you can make. Well, there, there's a ton of different pipes to make, actually. You have uh, all your regular ones. You have wooden, cobble, stone, iron, golden, diamond, obsidian, and wooden. And then each one of them, I believe each one of them you can make into eh, a couple of them, into waterproof pipes. Uh, we're going to get into waterproof pipes pretty soon. I, I really, I've figured out how to make tanks and to hold water and hold lava and stuff. So we'll do that too. But for now, we don't need that. We're just going to use this. And mining pipes too. You can make um, a mining machine. Those are kind of cool. I haven't used one yet. But with the quarry, there's a few other things that go along with it. Uh, like a, a filler. And there's this architect table type thing. We'll do those too. But anyway, for right now, we're, I'm just going to show you how to make these. Um... Golden pipes, you're going to need golden pipes for this, stone pipes. You don't need diamond, you don't need iron, but every so often you might. So I'm not going to actually make these right now. I have a few, but all the pipes are the same recipe, just different materials. So either uh, you either take wood, cobble, stone, iron, gold, or diamond, or obsidian. Obsidian, I think, is actually, no, it's the same. And you put them around glass. So they're pretty simple to make. Uh, we'll make a few extra of these, and we'll make an extra few of these. Uh, I believe each recipe makes eight. Check. And I'm going to show you what they're used for. I wanted I wanted to do a whole tutorial on what they're used for, but I didn't think it was necessary. I'll probably just show you each of their uses as we go. So yeah, we have a ton of stone pipe now. Uh, we have a lot of golden. I have a few diamond pipes, I think, in there. I, we don't need them, though. But uh, when we do, I'm going to show how to automate this machine. We'll eventually do that. I'm going to show you use iron and diamond. But right now, they're not needed. Anyway, uh, and these are barrels. Barrels are giant storage devices. Um, I have a bunch of them over there. I'm going to show you how they work. Uh, they're pretty simple recipe. It's eight pieces, not eight, seven pieces of any type of wood, I think. It's either the oak. I'd use either the oak, the birch, or the spruce, or the, or the jungle. The other ones I have, I've never tried. But uh, this is how you make them. You put them around in a, in a little U-shape like this, and then you put a little, a little uh, slab on top. Also can be any type of slab. You don't need to use the tame. You don't need to use an oak slab with oak wood. So they're pretty simple to make. We're gonna make uh one, two, f we'll make three. We'll make four. These are really cool. Uh, what they do is instead of they're like a chest almost, but instead of using them as like uh, you put a bunch of different things in. You put one type of something in, but you could put 64 stacks of it into one. Oh, we're going to make the quarry too. So that's pretty cool. I, I like those. Uh, this is the quarry right here. I don't. I haven't made it all yet, yet so I'm going to show you. It's a simple, it's a simple uh, 
recipe. It's a lot of gears and diamond pickaxe, but it's expensive. It costs 11 diamonds. Uh, I don't remember exactly how many iron. Uh, a couple more, a lot of gold. So this is how to make, you got the iron gears. We're going to keep those here though, but I've, I haven't showed how to make the golden and the diamond. So I figured I'd show that first. So the gold is a simple recipe. It's iron with gold around it. So iron gears, which are wood gears, turn into stone gears, turn into iron gears, and then you turn them into gold deals, gears. Uh, you need two of these. And then you take those gold gears. So you make four of them all together. So you, that's 16 pieces of gold. So you uh, make two more. And then you surround them by diamonds, and you get diamond gears. So we'll make those. Um, I'm trying to think. I, this is the only machine I've ever made diamond gears for. So make these first. We've got some gold gears, and then we'll make diamond ones. So yeah, it takes eight diamonds here to make the two gears, and then you need three more to make the pickaxe that goes in the center. So I mean, 11 diamonds, it's, it's not cheap. It's not something you're going to make the first day. But uh, this is the recipe right here. You have uh, on the top row an iron gear, a redstone, an iron gear. The second row is gold gear, iron gear, gold gear. Bottom row is diamond gear, diamond pickaxe, diamond gear. I keep hearing a clicking. I don't know if you guys hear, hear that. I don't know what it is. Uh, so we'll make one real quick. Let's put your two diamond gears, your two gold gears, your pickaxe, your gold, I mean your redstone. And then uh, the three iron gears, and there's your quarry. It's simple. Uh, let me go sleep real quick, and I'll be right back. Okay, I took a nap in my old hidey hole. I kind of gutted it. It's kind of shit now. I don't use it anymore. I moved into here. There's, this thing has ten different floors, so I can use them for different things. It's kind of kind of awesome. It's a lighthouse. I got the design online. Uh, I'll put in the link to where to go if you want to build them. You can build them any height, any amount of floors. And it shows you the step-by-step -step how to do it. So we're going to do, I'm going to say a 10 by 10 right here. I'm only going to do 10 by 10 because you can go up to 64 by 64, but you don't have to. You know, I need a chest too. So let's make one of those. So yeah, the, the way they work, I'm going to show you when I set one down. I'll set one down and show you how that works. Two seconds. Uh, so what we're going to do first is I just want to show you what this looks like when you set it down. When you set it down, because this is where we're going to build it anyway, we're going to build it right, yeah, right there. As you can see, it says the quarry at 387.63.422, so that's my coordinates. If you can see in the top right corner, that's where I'm at. We'll keep chunks four, it will keep four chunks loaded. So when this is running, when this is just like this, four chunks around this area. So that's that one I think is holding 28 chunks will stay loaded at all time. If I go a thousand blocks that way, this will continue to run. It never stops running as long as your game's on. Uh, there's no interface. You can't click it. It doesn't do anything. Um, the way to run it is uh, the build craft engines. Uh, I use electrical engines with solar panels usually, but um, after this video, we're going to do the industrial centrifuge, and after that, we're going to do solar panels, and then that's the best way to run these. But for right now, we can just use Sterling engines. Uh, that's fine. You can use any engine. You can use a redstone engine. It will go super slow, but it'll work. But so that is a nine by nine chunk, I believe, from this. So from the center. So I think this is nine by nine right now. One, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. It's eleven by eleven square. So you can set it up like this and it will dig down, but for the purpose of a tutorial, we'll use landmarks because this is how you'll probably be making them. So how I do mine is I like to do them over water. Uh, not all of them always are. As you can see, I have one right there. And let's, uh, let's zoom out a little bit. Can you see it? Nope. But I have another one set up all the way up top. And then I have one right there set up digging it in the water over here. Um, you don't have to, it's just, uh, well, we'll get to that. Sorry, I'm getting a little sidetracked today, sorry. So let's set up a few pieces of dirt. So we're going to have one there. We're going to build this out, I'm going to say 20 blocks. So one, 20. I'm guesstimating, but I think that's 20. Lined up right, yep. So that's 20 out that way, and then we'll go 20 out this way. So one, two, 20. 
All right, so that's your three. That's where your three landmarks are gonna go. So this is how they work. Um, you don't have to, but I always set up the spot where the quarry is gonna be first. It gets real finicky sometimes. I'll show you. So then you set that landmark up. You set this landmark up, and you put this one here. You can put another one in that corner. That's fine. And then you can make it anywhere you want. But this is where I want my quarry is right here. So what you do is you set those up and then you click. Bam. All of a sudden you have this perfect red, red square and that is what your quarry is going to be now. So what you do is we'll make a little platform. Is you set the quarry up right here. You want to set it up so you have one landmark over there, one here. The one that touches both. If you put it here, it gets all weird and doesn't work out, and it will just give you that 11 by 11 square again. So this is how you have to set it up. So you just plop it down. Those disappear. It says this quarry will load, keep five chunks loaded now because it's a little bigger. Pick them back up. Because uh, they, they pop off when you do it. Uh, might as well pick them back up and uh, reuse them. And right, I have some coal on me. So we're gonna use sterling engines. You don't have to. You can use electric engines. You can use, like I said, any engine works. But uh, for the purpose of a tutorial, I just wanna show you, we're gonna just use these. What we're gonna do is we're gonna load this one up with 32 cobble, 32 coal, this one with 32 coal. It gives off a, a decent amount of power. It's gonna work. So let's power these up. And see that little robot guy in the center? He's gonna start building your platform. See him starting to build it right here? And he's going to go all the way around and build all the way up. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave it just like this. And then I'm going to time lapse it and just so it can show it build. So I will be right back. Enjoy the little mini time lapse. It's going to be kind of fast. Okay, so it's getting about to that point where it's done, and when it's done, it's going to start spewing anything it picks up out of this hole right here. So what we got to do is we got to set this up so it doesn't do that. Well, you know what? We are going to need diamond pipes. Uh, I'm getting to my limit, though, I believe. I'm going to be at about, I don't know, 13 minutes right now. So this is going to be part one. This is going to be how to, the, so we set it up. And everything I showed you how to get it all here and now I'm gonna do I'll do a part two I'll put both videos out same day so that you're not waiting um, but for right now this is gonna be the end of part one and I will release part two right after that one's done um, uploading and that's gonna be how to set this pipe up how to run the diamond pipes I'll even I'll show all the pipes because then I'll have a lot of time but as you can see uh, it's all set up yep see it's starting to run and this one starts spewing stuff out in the air first I wonder if it's gonna pick these up does it pick up ice I've never really put it on ice water now. Nope, just turns it into water. Okay, um, I'll be back in the next video and I'll show you all the pipes and how to uh, transport and everything. So uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this one. I hope it was helpful just to show this setup right here. Uh, stay tuned.